Let's go ahead and create mailing labels in seconds from an Excel database into Word. In this demo, we need to make 100 file labels. The first label should be TX-875 to TX-975. The labels are required to be Avery 5366 for filing. Open a blank worksheet in Excel to create the sequence. Select any cell in Excel. In this case, we will start in cell A1. Type the header for the list, call numbers. First number of our labels is 875. Also, make sure that the list is in the very first worksheet and we added a simple header so the mail merge goes smoothly. Select the cell A2. Now in the Home tab, go to the Editing group and locate the Fill feature. Now click on the right arrow and select the Series option. On the top, make sure to change the series in columns. The type selected is linear because we need a steady increment or linear increment of one. The step value indicates how much each number will increase, so we leave the default one. We are setting the stop value at 975. Press OK to finish your changes, and now we have a list of 100 numbers ready. We will show you in Word how easy it is to add the TX and the dash to all of the labels. Let's save our changes and let's remember the location as we will need this Excel file in a moment. I am placing mine right here. And now let's go to Word to start the labels. Let's open a blank document in Word and we already saved it for this demo as labels. Select the mailings tab. In the second group called a Start Mail Merge, select the top drop down menu. Go to the Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. The first question on top asks the type of document that we are working on, so we select Labels or the fourth choice on the list. Select Change the Document Layout as we are going to format it with the label sizes for Ivory 5366. The last option, a start from existing document, lets you select a document that you already might be working on. Under the next section, change the document layout. Pick the default page printers with the default tray. Now under label options, pick Avery US letter. Then look for the 5366 file for folder labels. Click OK and now we see all of the blank labels. In this step, we're going to select the recipients by choosing them not from a list, not from the Outlook contacts, nor we will be typing 100 labels by hand. What we are doing instead is using an existing list from a file or database. This is because we are not working with the standard mailing addresses that we see in every other tutorial. Instead, we have very specific codes that we need in our labels. So we are now opening our Excel file and see how it looks under Select Table. Make sure that the checkbox, the uh, first row of data contains column headers, is checked. In here, we just want to bring to your attention some great filters available, like sort, filter the data, find duplicates, find recipients, or validate addresses if you need to refine your list even more. Let's click OK, and if you like this tutorial, take a moment to like and subscribe for more free videos. Thank you. Now we are going to arrange our labels and the options are address block, which is what you use with standard mailing addresses. Greeting lines and electronic postage are not applicable here either. Under more items, make sure that the database fields option is selected because we only have one column called numbers. Click insert and it goes on the very first label as you can see. Now let's preview results 
and we can add if we need any missing text, like we're doing right now. Always make the change on the very first label, and then you update all labels on the right hand corner when ready. Now, after we update all labels, we can preview it again. And if you want to change the size or alignment, let me show you real quickly how to do it. Select the first label only and change the font size, alignment, and then click update all labels when ready. To print, just go to file, then print. And for now, we just print it to PDF so you can see the finished result. We hope you enjoyed this tip and let us know below what other tutorials would you like to see on this channel. Thank you.